Hello. Quentin here. Today we are out in the Zetor Crystal with the class disco mower machine. We are, ooh, we are mowing grass for uh, silage. I believe, I believe it's silage. Uh, we may make some hay instead. I, I don't know. Uh, but we're out mowing and what a jolly big field this is. This may take a while. This uh, Zetor has m much power, so let's just run it as, as fast as we can and uh, see how, how it performs. Now, it has been a little while since you've... Well, since I've recorded a video. Um, all the fields are now planted. Bubba and I were quite busy. Uh, this field has been fertilized. Apparently that gets more grass for your grass. I don't know either. Um, this field has been fertilized and I shall be experimenting somehow. I don't know. Um, most of the fields do need to be fertilized still, I believe. But that'll be that shall be uh, something I, I will deal with in the coming days. Uh, it is early some no late spring. Very awkward with these months, which is which. Early summer, late spring, it's all the one. And uh, it is time for silage. Now. I have been told you're supposed to use some sort of harvester for this. I have no idea. So, what I plan on doing, what I propose to do, is get a forage wagon and uh, use that. Now, I will need to windrow the, uh, the grass up so that it's easier to pick up. Because for whatever reason, this mower seems to enjoy putting grass out in a very strange manner indeed. I have no idea why. Now, I have spoken with uh, local farmers, including Jeff and, and Ty and, and Matt and uh, a few others. They've told me that the best thing to do in order to get good rounds of the field is to follow in the row, the swath left by the previous pass. So that's precisely what I shall do. And we will see how we do. Now, I have also been told that the final pass in by the hedges is supposed to be done absolutely final, dead last. The outside of the field is last because you might throw up stones and you don't want that going into the field when you're still trying to mow the field because then you will end up with stones and twigs and all sorts of nonsense everywhere and uh, doesn't end up very well for the machinery uh, so if you only run over it the once you'll be much better off than running over it many many times which actually makes sense I believe um, that's their logic anyway. I don't know if it's true or not. They may be pulling some sort of practical joke on me. I honestly have no idea. But this set or it, it does perform quite well. It's. I, I, I've been told the uh, whirring and whistling noise you are hearing is called a turbo. And it makes the engine better somehow. I, again, have no idea. Um but it does and this setter has a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour which in real measurements is roughly uh, 19 or 20 miles per hour depending on who you ask or how you do your maths uh, my maths brings it out as 7,000 miles an hour, so my maths is not very good. 
Now what I'm going to do, just to save you guys a uh, wonderful viewer's time, uh, hopefully I can do this, is I shall do something called a time lapse of uh, some more work going on. And uh, I have no idea how to do this. I've figured it out at some point. And perhaps uh, Mr. Dave shall, shall help me out. But uh, the idea behind this is I continue to record at a normal speed. And Mr. Dave may have done this previously. I, I honestly have no idea. I continue to record at a normal speed. However, the the in editing or whatever is done magic computer nonsense um, it is sped up so it looks to be incredibly fast indeed when in fact it was recorded at a normal speed isn't that wonderful isn't that the wonders of modern computing you can speed up time except you're not speeding up time you're just speeding up how things look to the human eye Apparently you can do the same in reverse, although it is incredibly difficult and requires a specific camera. Where you slow things down so they appear to be incredibly slow, except they're happening at normal speed in real life. Uh, but to a viewer, they are incredibly slow. That, that is magnificent. I've only just learned these things, and by Jove, <laughs> they've blown my mind. As you young folks say, it is incredibly cool and with it, and hip. In any case, I should probably stop nattering now and uh, figure out this magical time nonsense.
So I've been brewing for about uh, oh, 30 minutes or so now. I have found it to be incredibly tedious work. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to complete this field. Perhaps I should invest in different mowing equipment, a different mower. Uh, while this class mower is indeed quite wide, uh, I don't think it's it's quite up to the task. I believe I, I should require something perhaps wider overall um, and perhaps move in the direction of having two mowers, one on the front of the tractor, one off to the side like I have now with the glass and um, work like that. However, I have no idea how to go about buying something like that. Uh, I, yes. I will have to uh, do my research for the future. As this is, yes, just not going to cut it, if you shall excuse the pun. Um, this is incredibly tedious work and is likely going to take quite a while indeed to complete um, which I, I had anticipated taking some time however not not quite this long I mean I can still see the first line there I can not quite make out the uh, final line over on the far side of the field and we're just going around in circles literally I also have realized now there are trees in the middle of the field which will require me to uh, come up with some sort of stratagem to to deal with them uh, ideally not cutting them down as I as I receive grants currently for uh, allowing the trees to kindly uh, stay in my property or in this property uh, so uh, yes I, I the trees sort of have to stay I need to work around the trees in order to do this job which is becoming increasingly tedious and boring I yes will have to sort out some sort of solution in any case, back to the time nonsense.
So I've been bearing this uh, blasted meadow for almost an hour now, and uh, I have no idea how people do this on a regular basis. I, I understand there are people out there who uh, do this lawn care thing, where they will go out and uh, mow other people's lawns for many, many hours on end, and I have endless respect for people like that. They are completely insane, and I approve of that, uh, as I, of course, am insane myself, as many people enjoy reminding me. Um, however, I do believe I need a stiff cup of tea, and perhaps one or two biscuits. Because this is incredibly boring, and I could be doing far better things uh, with your time. And I think you you fine, fine chaps deserve better than to watch me drive around in circles for potentially another full hour. In real time, of course, you've got time nonsense that does magic and makes it much, much faster indeed. However, I'm going to save uh, Dave or whoever ends up doing this the time and the bother and uh, finish recording my film or video as you young chaps call it uh, here with the field in a state of half mode goodness uh, both the trees have been accounted for with the mowing and bear with me while I turn around there we go that should do you can see the trees have both been encountered for and I have made an absolute ungodly mess of this one because I tried to go around it in a way that I thought was correct but indeed was well wildly incompetent to say the least so I'm going to end the video here I hope you enjoyed on whatever channel this is on please hit what I understand is the like button leave a comment and do please indeed subscribe to whatever channel this ends up on i will leave you by saying i've been quentin you've been watching my wonderful wonderful exploits here on orchard farm i do hope you enjoy until i see you again tara pip pip and cheerio.